After that inaugural speech, a lot of people want to know who Barack Obama really is, because we've had four years of pretty moderate governance, and then he gives this speech, which could have been given by LBJ. There is a real question now, particularly given the fact that he laid out all these fairly progressive principles defending entitlements, not really conceding to the Republicans on budget cutting. We reject the belief that America must choose between caring for the generation that built this country and investing in the generation that will build its future. Whether or not he's going to go all the way on stuff like gun control. I think that is an unanswered question. There is a sense that he feels empowered by this victory over Mitt Romney to move ahead on a more progressive agenda. There was language, as you know, in the, in the inaugural address about uh, inequality. We do not believe that in this country freedom is reserved for the lucky or happiness for the few. His folks would say that they've dealt with a bit of that by being able to raise taxes on families making more than $400,000, a huge victory, particularly to get some Republican buy-in on that. He will continue to make the argument that this inequality is bad structurally for the economy. But I think it's much more based on this consumption model he has, that we will only come back if we consume. And the way to consume is to raise wages uh, for low and middle income people. The guy's core is fundamentally progressive. He started off as an organizer in Chicago. He has a basic set of beliefs based in liberal democratic doctrine. I also think Barack Obama is an introvert and he's not the kind of guy who's going to schmooze people to death. The decision that they've made now, which is a combination of both his temperament and what he learned in the first four years, is they're going to sort of hammer bipartisanship out of Republicans and force them to sort of make a peace pact. He's very, very good at making strategic speeches, particularly about when his own political future is on the line, been much less uh, adept at sort of selling individual programs. He's got to change his tune now. He's got to figure out a way to sell ideas to the American people, to sort of take a lot of these issues, including gun control, 48 to 52 percent approval on stuff, and in order to move that over the line, he's really got to make a sale. Let's see if he can do it. There has been an enormous change in Obama's attitude towards the office since the election. I think to a certain extent he was renting for the first four years. Now he feels like he owns. My guess would be, over the course of time, he is going to cut a large deal with Republicans uh, that is going to sour some liberals. But I think in general, yes, we are looking at a more progressive thrust for the next four years.